Hello, so today I'm gonna show you how to upload your binary Arduino code to uh, your Atmega 328 IC itself not with the other any like connection circuitry type on any board just itself using some more component that we list in the requirements here so so first of all we have an Arduino Nano here and this is uh, the chip itself it's isolated not on any circuit board and the reason you want to do this is because you just want a simple project like you don't want to evolve with any PCB big PCB or just buy an expensive Arduino just buy the chip and borrow some Arduino from your friend and upload or burn the bootloader so uh, here's a circuitry that we're gonna connect it look a bit like it's a little bit messy but if you stick through the video I'm sure you're gonna connect it in the right ways this is just summary because well you know my uh, drawing there or arrangement here a little bit sucks but uh, let's just keep going so here we are putting everything on the breadboard and um, next step we're gonna need to put the crystal oscillator and as you can see on the uh, the pin out uh, picture here you can screenshot or post that to review a bit so it's actually on the ninth and tenth pin pin number nine pin number ten so what are you gonna do well you just count it on the board and make sure you put it on the right so there's two part of it there's uh, some indicating there there's then there so just make sure and the label there make sure the label is in the right orientation and also there's some dent there and a little bit chunk that they cut off there to make sure that they're telling you where is the first pin and where is the the 28th pin so now we're gonna connect this uh, crystal oscillator into the uh, n pin number 9 and pin number 10 so right there I'm counting with my hand that's what you're gonna do so I'm gonna off I was offset a little bit so now I'm gonna add some capacitors so uh, in this case uh, I don't know if you understand this picture or not but I'm sure you will there is pin number 9, pin number 10 and pin number 8 for the ground connect like that uh, just imagine it on the breadboard make sure and I don't, I don't know if you watching this understand the breadboard how it's connecting or not but I'm sure you'll understand if you don't understand you can google search or something it will show you how the breadboard work where the connection goes so next thing I want to do is I'm gonna uh, make sure the Arduino Nano here ignore the chip itself so if I give it some power you can see that red LED there is flashing but if I connect the reset port to the ground port it actually doesn't seem like it knows there's a chip on it it just keep resetting and resetting ignoring the chip so the next thing you want to do is to connect the RX and TX RX is for trans uh, receiving and T, T is for transfer so uh, I don't know why they put X there seriously I don't know <laughs> so <laughs> right so as you see there the RX is at pin number 2 and the TX is at pin number 3 on the uh, isolated chip so you just look over your board find the RX connect it to pin number 2 look over your board find the TX and connect it to the pin number 3 alright so next thing you want to supply 5 volt to the, uh, uh, the the chip so you're gonna need to connect it and as you see there there is two VCC which is uh, on pin number 7 and pin number 20 but I'm gonna stick with number 7 there near the uh, oscillator or our crystal there so just put it on a pin 7 and uh, you also need a ground because you, you just you guys just know it every electric component need a ground or a negative part of it let's say negative I don't know I don't know how to say that since I'm not native in English <laughs> okay whatever so here we got the, the chip powered up with 5 volts and the next thing you want to do is to add a reset button why because it doesn't have a reset function because we just connect the reset of the Arduino board to itself so we need to press the reset button manually when we upload the code and here's how to connect the reset button you just basically uh, do like this uh, circuitry layout connect it with a 10 kilo kilo, res kilo ohm resistors oh my god so uh, actually I have a button here 
I just connect from pin number one to the ground, but passing the button and also passing the resistors before going to the ground. So I'm just gonna add it right there. So the reason why you want to add a button right here is because that you don't have a reset button it also you don't have a reset function when uploading you know the Arduino uh, it's like it's automatically press the reset button when every time it's connected to your computer and you upload some binary into it so if you connect the reset to the reset port to the ground there it will actually lose its reset button but on the other chip it has a reset pinout so you can use that to connect to ground to act it like a, uh, a reset button so right now I'm powering it up and I'm upload some code into it. So here's a here's a, so I'm gonna connect it to a pin number 18. <laughs> uh, the digital pins are 18, 17, 16, and 15. So I'm gonna use the uh, 18, which is the digital pin number 13 on a regular Arduino. So I'm upload some code from the example there, uh, which is blink, and I'm using this blue hope blue LED hoping it will emit very very bright but unfortunately reality often disappointing see it's not very bright and I don't know why but it's blinking well it's blinking and if I press the reset button it doesn't work because I connected uh, the uh, you know the resistor in the wrong way so if I press this reset button again it's like it reset itself it reset the chip reset everything inside itself like a working a normal working Arduino so there we go and the reason why you want to do this let me explain again is because like you just bought a, a chip an integrated an integrated created circuit chip and you want to print it out or you have a, your own PCB that has your cu uh, custom uh, connection and you want to you want it to uh, like you know function in a small project so again here's an overview of what I've done and it's looked totally a freaking mess and I know if you have a normal wire or a circuit board that will be better so thanks for watching guys click the link down below for the uh, tutorial how to burn your bootloader